He is now unfortunately picking up the pieces this morning after a fire tore through their home. KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry is live outside of that home in Selim Park. Jasmine, good morning. What can you tell us? Good morning, Brenda and Trevor. I'm outside of the mobile home where you can see right here the damage that was done. Now, the owner tells me luckily nobody was inside the shed when it happened. But what we do know is that the fire chief of Sunland Park says the heater is what started it all. Heater. Uh, apparently, there's a gentleman that was uh, known to sleep in that um, in that little shed. So a space heater too close to a combustible product is, uh, appears to what started the fire. causing the shed to burst into flames. Luckily, nobody was inside the shed. However, the owner's girlfriend and stepson were inside the house. No family member was injured. But Sunland Park Fire Chief Daniel Medrano does say a firefighter was injured. Mobile home owner Fernando Mota tells KTSM when he came home and saw the blaze, he and his friend, who was living in the shed, immediately tried to control the flames before the fire department arrived. With these cold temperatures and no heater, now the family is seeking help Help from the public to recover everything they lost. The whole kitchen, everything. There's a big hole in the in the wall, and well, you know, the fire department have to make sure that there's no other fire. And uh, so, yeah, it's a little, it's 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 gone. My stove's gone. My everything. And they shut off all the all the utilities. So I don't know. I don't know how to get them back. So this is the shed that started it all. As you can see, it's very, very small. But if you would like to help the family, you can go to their GoFundMe page, and you can find that link on our website at KTSM.com. Reporting in Sunland Park, New Mexico, Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. Jasmine, thank you for that update. In the meantime